Hey there, it's Grant from BluebirdLandlord.com, and I'm here on this rainy Illinois day to give you five ways to keep mice out of your bluebird houses. First off, why are mice a problem for bluebirds? Well, deer mice will actually set up shop in a bluebird house, just like any other kind of bird would. So they give unnecessary competition to bluebirds for that precious nest box space. Mice have been known to build their nest right on top of a bluebird nest, crushing or even eating bluebird eggs. And they're just driving out bluebirds, doing damage to the eggs, so we don't want them. And deer mice have also been known to carry hantavirus, which is a lung disease that can be fatal to humans. So mice are a problem, and here's how you keep them away from your birdhouse. Okay, the first thing you wanna do is something that hopefully you are already doing, and that's mount your bluebird house on a metal pole. You don't wanna mount it on a wooden fence post, don't tack it onto a tree, nothing wooden, nothing that's easy to climb. Mount your bluebird house to a metal pole, it'll be harder for the mice to climb up and access the nest box. The next method for keeping mice out of your bluebird houses is mount your nest box away from any big rocks or bushes. You might not even be thinking about this, but if your bluebird house, even if it's on a metal pole, if it's right next to a big bush, the mice and rats can actually jump up from those kind of things, from bushes and rocks, and actually just access your box directly that way. So if the nest box doesn't currently have a nest full of bluebirds in there, go ahead and move the nest box at least five, maybe 10 feet away uh, from that area if it is close to a rock or a bush. Number three, install a stovepipe style predator baffle on the pole leading up to your bluebird nest box. This is the same thing that you would use to deter um, cats and raccoons and any kind of climbing predator. The same kind of baffle will work on mice as well. Number four, if you're still having problems with mice entering your nest box, you're doing all the right things, but mice are still building that nest in your bluebird house, there's one thing from your garden that might be able to help, and that's mint. See if you can see it. Just the regular mint leaves, that grow in your garden. This is a common home remedy for mice in general. Apparently mice have a really strong sense of smell and they're very overwhelmed by the scent of mint. So if you do remove a mouse nest from your bluebird house, go ahead and try just rubbing a few of these mint leaves on the inside of the nest box to kind of permeate the whole box with the smell of mint. Or if you don't have any mint, you can use a couple drops of peppermint oil, like an essential oil on a cotton ball and you can just put a thumbtack and put that inside of your nest box somewhere up top so it stays away from a potential bluebird nest. And hopefully that smell will just help out even more in keeping the mice away. And number five, this goes along with deterring any kind of predator or other bird from using your bluebird house. You just have to be consistent. So remove mice nests every single time you see one. And because mice carry diseases, like I said before, hantavirus is a lung disease in particular that can affect humans. There's some very specific instructions that I have for how you should safely remove mice nests. I got some of this information from uh, the University of New Mexico, put out a good paper on this. Um, go ahead and go over to my website, bluebirdlandlord.com slash mice. There's gonna be a link in the description as well that'll take you there. I've got the instructions you need for how to safely remove a mouse nest from your bluebird house and just keep being consistent with it and hopefully you won't have any problems with mice visiting you ever again. For more information in general on attracting bluebirds to your own backyard, go ahead and go over to bluebirdlandlord.com. I've got a bunch of information for you over there. And I'll see you in the next video.